major domains of the earth that is the chapter we are discussing now the domains of the earth majorly divided into four parts they are lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere and biosphere the solid portion of the earth is known as lithosphere the world if we say lithosphere it is divided into two part one is lithos the second part is sphere litho means the rocky part the rock so the rocky part of the world is known as lithosphere next come to hydrosphere hydro means water so the part we can see full of water the watery part of the world is known as hydrosphere next we are coming to atmosphere the gaseous part of the world that covers all of us we can feel it that is known as atmosphere in a graphic presentation if we want to present it we can draw it like this if this is lithosphere and this is hydrosphere and this is atmosphere then in between the small part we can say as biosphere biosphere is everywhere if you see we can find life everywhere either in lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere or it all concerned of biosphere everywhere we can find life we will discuss now specifically on lithosphere if we see lithosphere the solid portion if you remove water if you remove everything from the world the rocky part of the world that is lithosphere we all know that earth is a rocky planet so the base is rock the rocky part of the earth is known as lithosphere this is uh, there are two main divisions on this of the earth surface land huge landmass whatever we can find they are called as continents we can divide our earth into two major uh, uh, two major divisions one is continent another one is oceans the major rocky part of the earth is consist of all continents and we divided it into seven continents the name of the continents are asia europe africa north america south america australia and antarctica these are the name of the continents with all these continents the earth is we, we can say the lithosphere of earth that is made of all these seven continents we will discuss about the continents now asia the first one is asia asia is the largest continent we can say it is uh, it is it is the major part of the earth we can say that is covered with asia the first continent the second one even we can see the india our country that is also that is situated in asia the largest mountain peak the largest mountain range himalaya that also is in asia the next the smallest continent that is europe it is the smallest continent next we are coming to uh, africa we all know about africa it is the second largest continent and after asia this uh, the position of the continents after asia as per the size it is africa it is this is the only continent where we can find the equator the tropic of cancer as well as the tropic of capricorn that is the size of africa and that is a uh, we can say the placement of africa equator runs through this country so the, the climate everything is mostly uh, controlled by equator this is continent as a dark uh, this continent is called as a dark continent also the sahara desert nile river whatever you can imagine that remember the names these all are situated in 
Africa. I hope you all know about North America. The before only few days we have an election in America, North America, and North America is a one of the ruling power of the world. You know that North America is the third largest continent as per the size, followed by South America. Then we are coming to Australia. Australia is an island continent. It is the all the side of the continent is covered with water. So this is we call as island continent. And another thing we have to remember, this is the continent that is in the southern hemisphere. All other continents mostly they are massed in the northern hemisphere. But Australia is the continent that is in the southern hemisphere. And the next one, the last one is Antarctica, the ice continent, the continent that is completely full of ice. People habitant is not there, it is not possible there. The temperature is so less that we cannot live there for a long time. But most of the countries they have their research center in Antarctica. Even for India, we have our uh, research center in Antarctica, they are uh, known as Dakshin Ganga tree and Maitri. These two uh, research centers are there in Antarctica where people they are doing some research on this continent. Most part of this continent is still inaccessible. We cannot go there. So these at a glance about the lithosphere, the continents. Next we are coming to hydrosphere. I told you hydrosphere is mostly built by all the oceans, water, water bodies of the earth, earth that is known as hydrosphere and the oceans are the major part if we leave apart rivers, lakes and ponds and the small water bodies then the major part of the hydrosphere is made by the oceans. So four oceans we have. We have Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean and Arctic Ocean. Uh, this is as we know that we all know that earth is a blue planet and why it is a blue planet because most part of the earth if you observe it, it is quite consists with water. So uh, from the outer sphere like from the uh, um, uh, out, outside of the earth if you see earth if you can if you are able to see earth. Uh, the, uh, we can see that art, the color of the earth is blue. So it is called a blue planet. Though it is a blue planet, but most of this water they are consist only in the oceans. The major part of the hydrosphere that is in the oceans only. And we have major four oceans. We have four oceans. Uh, Rest of the water though we have uh, in the form of rivers, ponds, lakes, but they are a very small percentage of water. Though it is a very, as I told you that though it is a watery planet, though it is a blue planet, but the water we use, we can use, that part of water is very less, only 1 or 2 percent water we can use for our daily use. The rest part is salty and we cannot use it. So, though it is a planet, we call it, it is a watery planet, two third of the planet is full of water, but even then the usable water is very less. This is the high time, we must save water, we must think about our future generation and use water rationally other than misutilizing the water, whatever the facilities we have. Now coming to the oceans, oceans are mass water bodies but the water is salty, we need to remember that and ocean waters is never static, they are always moving from one place to another and these all oceans are interconnected, it is separated by the continents but they are connected in some of the places. Pacific Ocean is called as the largest ocean. This is the largest and spread over one third of the earth. Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the earth, that you uh, that is even the, the height of Mariana Trench, that is even more than Mount Everest. 
can you can you even imagine that that is in pacific ocean next we are coming to atlantic ocean this is the second largest ocean of the world and this is the ocean we can say the busiest ocean it is uh, it is just joined it is in between europe and america and you can think the business uh, we can do with using this atlantic ocean and uh, atlantic ocean is also famous for its fish business they have a booming fish business over there in atlantic ocean and even other all business facilities it is the busiest one and another thing atlantic ocean if you observe it in a map it is a s shaped ocean this ocean is s shaped ocean next we are coming to indian ocean the only ocean named after a country we must be proud of this this is our own ocean if you are visiting kanyakumari any time you will be able to see that ocean experience this ocean from the tip of kanyakumari the one is touching the water bodies you can touch that is indian ocean and next we are coming to the arctic ocean indian ocean it is almost a triangle shape it is a triangle shape ocean next we are coming to arctic ocean arctic ocean is almost frozen and it is in the north pole northern side we when we discussed about continents we have seen antarctica is the southernmost one and arctic ocean is a northernmost uh, ocean in the it is situated in the north pole next we are coming to atmosphere i told you atmosphere is made of different type of gases we cannot see it but we can feel it the major part of the atmosphere is made by nitrogen nitrogen is the uh, almost 71% of the atmosphere is com composed by nitrogen gas then it is coming oxygen 21% is we have um, by oxygen oxygen is the most required gas for us we breathe in oxygen the only planet we are in that is earth that have oxygen that has oxygen and we are benefited and that is the reason we are we are uh, the living planet we can claim ourselves as a living planet that is oxygen next we are coming to carbon dioxide you all know that we inhale oxygen and we give out carbon dioxide we have a common idea that carbon dioxide is a very it is a harmful gas it is not at all a harmful gas you know the warmth the heat we can feel in our earth the warmth that is caused by carbon dioxide carbon dioxide has a capacity to grab the warmth from the the sun warmth on the earth and there is a reason it is not never cool it is not never chilled planet so carbon dioxide which we have an impression that it is a very harmful gas it is not at all rather carbon dioxide is the gas which help us to grab the warmth and keep our planet warm we can feel it it is never so chill that it is a icy planet rather we have the life is benefited by carbon dioxide we can see the atmosphere almost 99% it is may it is made by nitrogen oxygen and carbon dioxide and at least 1% is made up by other gases so this is the major portion of the uh, of our atmosphere that actually gives us life life to breath and life to live on we are coming to the next that is biosphere biosphere is the place is the life place the living place of earth where the plants the animals the other biotic abiotic animals they all live so the wherever in the earth you can see life you can see living thing they are they made they are composed the biosphere here if we see that in atmosphere as we go up the pressure air pressure decreases the it is it changes the air level and air pressure is changing and depending on that 
we also divide it into some sphere like troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, exosphere and these all are the major spheres we are dividing the earth. Mostly we live in troposphere, it is all the animals, the biosphere, mostly all the biosphere you will find in between the, in the troposphere, the earth and the troposphere and then beyond troposphere the spheres are almost out of the earth. You will learn about them in your next classes. In the when you can see a plane is flying it is mostly in the troposphere and stratosphere in that level that is the place where there is no disturbance from the clouds that's the reason planes can fly smoothly on that level but troposphere as we can see the clouds these all are in the troposphere the first layer from earth to the atmosphere Air is also never fixed anywhere, you know that moving air is known as wind, we can feel it, that is the part of atmosphere we can directly feel, that is wind. Now, whatever we have learned in this, all these domain, it is our responsibility to save them, not the lithosphere, hydrosphere or atmosphere, they have life to change themselves but the biosphere we have life and we are spoiling the other three spheres which we need badly to live to survive so it need to we need to think about saving our earth saving all the other three domains saving the soil protecting the lithosphere hydrosphere to save water atmosphere to save air pollution and everything you know that due to air pollution some many schools in Delhi they were forced to close down so we need to save atmosphere and another reason we need to save it that is I told you that carbon dioxide is very useful when we are using it the way it must be used it can grab warmth but at the same time if the emission is more if the carbon dioxide gas in the atmosphere is producing more than the quantity it is required as a result we can experience global warming that is really harmful global warming what is global warming global warming is when Num the number of the molecule of carbon dioxide that is more in the atmosphere what will happen I told you carbon dioxide can trap heat as a result when the number of carbon dioxide molecules are more in the atmosphere then the heat number the amount of heat also will be absorbed more what will happen as a result we can see here in lithosphere, Antarctica we consider it as a frozen continent. It is completely frozen. Unfortunately, due to global warming, we can see some movement in this continent. The glaciers are started resolving into water, solving into water and once this continent will lose the rocky nature and it will considered as a ocean it will it will produce more water even the Himalaya mountain will not be enough to protect us the water level will be so high that we cannot live there we, we will lose all these continents so everything is depending on us how we are protecting our earth our own earth how we are protecting our these major domains of the earth being the prominent member of biosphere we, we cannot protect these three layers how the global warming can affect these three hydrosphere will be more lithosphere will lose will be losing and then atmosphere will be polluted can we live in this condition no way you know that before few uh, years we have a tsunami what is a tsunami? Tsunami is nothing but an earthquake 
under the sea level. So due to the tsunami, we lose some of the land part which was once a part of our own country, India. The Indira point is no more in India because it is submerged. It is there but it is submerged in water due to tsunami. So we need to take care of our own earth. We need to save it. We need to stop global warming. We need to take care that the production of carbon dioxide which we only are responsible none other part of the biosphere is taking part in that. We need to control the production of carbon dioxide to protect the other three parts of atmosphere and as well as our life in biosphere. Now let us take a quick recapitulation. What are the four major domains of the earth? They are lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. The major continents of the earth, they are Asia, the largest one, Europe, the smallest one, Africa, the second largest one, the North America, the busiest continent, South America, Australia and the frozen continent that is Australia is an island continent and the frozen continent is Antarctica. Coming to hydrosphere, the next one, uh, it is, uh, the, we have four oceans, they are oceans are purely water bodies, the oceans are Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean and Arctic Ocean. The biggest one is Pacific which has Mariana Trench, Atlantic Ocean is the busiest ocean, Indian Ocean is the only ocean that named after a country and Arctic Ocean that is in the North Pole, northern side of the earth, the North Pole of the earth. Next the atmosphere, we have major gases like nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide. 99% of atmosphere is made by these three gases and only 1% we have other gases. Biosphere next is biosphere means life where we have life that is biosphere mostly made by plants, animals, by some biotic and abiotic uh, microbes. Now uh, the next is uh, which two continents are entirely in the southern hemisphere? They are South America and Australia. These two hemisphere, they are entirely in the southern hemisphere. So what we can see the rest of the uh, uh, continents like Asia, Europe, Africa, part of Africa, North America, uh, they are uh, no, it is Australia and Antarctica, these uh, South America also this, uh, the equator is passing through South America. So Australia and Antarctica, so the rest these five we can see the five continents, these all five continents are in the northern side. What we can see as a result the most of the lithosphere content in is in the northern hemisphere whereas most of the hydrosphere we can find is in southern hemisphere. Why biosphere is important for living organism? We cannot leave entire part of this domains. All part of lithosphere is not accessible. I told you in hydrosphere we cannot live on the oceans. Atmosphere, only a little part of atmosphere is accessible for biosphere. So the part we can leave that is known only as biosphere and we need to be careful to save that part otherwise life will be impossible. Uh, global warming is the major concern in our life that carbon dioxide gas which is trapping warmth heat that is working negatively when it is the number of carbon dioxide molecules are more in the atmosphere so we need to take care of that. That is at a glance the chapter the major domains of the